Hello everybody, this is Cost Viewer. welcome back. Today I'm going to talk briefly about third method of inventory valuation. This is going to be the last part of my, let's say, trilogy about inventory valuation. Previously I talked about FIFO and LIFO models and I uploaded them on YouTube and these files can be freely used by you. You can always download them from my website. This time I'm going to talk about weighted average slash moving average calculation. Model is applicable for multiple SKUs. For those who want to skip my talk and get their hands on my file directly, I suggest you just go to my website, Cost Viewer. Uh, you can just click on EN to switch to English or Polish. My website is bilingual. Let's say you don't speak Polish, so you switch to English. Go to Downloads hover your mouse here over that Excel weighted average um, description, just click the button and then the file is downloaded for you and you can just start enjoying the file. Now, for those who want to better understand how the model works, just let me say a few words. As in all other models, I use one philosophy. I try to make that model gray and white. Everything that is gray, shaded, is meant not to be editable. It is calculated automatically. Everything that is white shaded is supposed to be amended. You can key in values in these, in these cells. And here I just prepared a very simple example. You have a purchase section and then usage section. I decided to keep it simple. Uh, so here you have just an example of product A. We bought 10 units, total value 100 average price is 10 and then following that we used five units. I could as well put that these five units here in this line but I just decided to to record purchase and usage line by line for for the sake of clarity transparency of that example. Then notice that we bought another batch of product A. This time we purchased 15 units value 200 so average unit price is 13.33 and following that we use seven items of product A and unit price is 1250. Why is it 1250? Because what we have we had a total value of 300 here but we already used up 50 right at, at this at this stage so at this level, our total inventory value is 300 minus 50, that is 250, and total number of units is 25 minus 5, which is 20. So basically, if you take 250 divided by 20, that will give you 12.50 unit price. And that's why whenever we use seven items here, our unit price is 12.50 and then I you know just typed in some product B purchases and consumption and down below I just give you an example of oops there is no formula here so let's just do this and you can see that both product A has the same uh, unit price as, as here, calculated here, and that product B has the same unit price calculated as here. Up above, I just build a summary section. And now let me just make a brief comment about two methods, moving average and weighted average. Actually, I don't think there is one worldwide standard which regulates or defines difference between the two methods. So what I'm going to say um, may not necessarily be applicable in, in your part of business, but my background, business background says that there is a subtle difference between these two methods. Namely, it's all about really frequency. So uh, moving average method to me means that uh, every single moment, every single time an SKU is used, is, is consumed, is sold, is taken from inventory, its unit price, weighted average unit price is calculated. So if you have five consumptions per day and five purchases per day, then depending on when uh, usage uh, uh, or sell, sell, selling an item uh, occurred, that particular item may have a different unit price depending on what was average unit price or of inventory at the moment that unit item was sold. Uh, frankly, I've never seen such a method used really in 
in a business in any IT system. Generally, systems don't operate with moving average. They really operate with weighted average method. Weighted average method, uh, of course, applies the same uh, formula, which I show here. However, weighted average means that you just take all of your purchases for a particular month. You check, of course, opening balance, and then you also summarize total usage that occurred of total usage of quantities used or sold throughout the period and using all, all of this information only then do you calculate unit price and then that unit price is multiplied by quantity of items used slash sold and then usage cost is calculated in uh, this way so this is really what weighted average to me is so generally speaking this method is used once a month during month and process during usually batch processing yeah so your system just run through checks everything what was purchased what was sold and then calculates a unit cost for an SKU for a particular period but generally speaking formula mathematical formula is the same for both methods methods is just frequency that makes them different and you may notice here in this um, example, maybe let me just calculate this for a second, that both products A and B and actually X as well, they these two methods, they yield different results. And this is because consumption of products uh, A, B and X, which happened, let's say that's a month, during a month, uh, occurred more than once and every time they were used they were used at different unit price so for example or sold product x had different unit prices calculated every time it was consumed likewise product a or product b and that's why these two methods here they return different results but product c was only consumed once at 12.41 that's why these two methods will be will yield the same results moving average and weighted average method will return the same results if i put here product c let's say one unit then i would have all of a sudden different result here so basically that's it this is really the simplest method to be adopted in excel uh, formula is pretty straightforward and if you want to to change improve the file feel free to do so enjoy the file and i talk to you later please also give me a thumbs up if you like the model and share it freely with your friends take care bye